Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 11 Let's Play where the laboratory is finally ready to go. Um, the wall breakers are maxed now, so you know, that's that's always a good thing. And we need to decide on something new to focus on. I mean like giants, always good, though I don't use them that often on this account. Um, electro dragons, you know, that's always a, a big one too. Baby dragons, huge for funneling. I mean, it, you know, there's just... A lot of good troops. I've, I've pretty much upgraded all the ones that I use. Elixir based stuff. Um, but there's other ones that I could use that need to be upgraded. So we'll see. We'll see what we're going to end up doing uh, today. Also, problem. Yes, it's a problem. Is I have pretty much max dark elixir in my storages. And that is not a good thing. So either I have two choices. I can either gem this inferno tower that'd be a, a few a, a little bit more than 100 gems um that way it gives me a builder and i can like upgrade the king and spend that dark elixir get him the level 45 or i can do a dark elixir uh laboratory upgrade and then just wait and um and do my um do the upgrade tomorrow or next episode so i i don't know well we'll just see we it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. Actually, oh, I have a I have a problem. I have to make the decision now because I can't go raid. I'm gonna fill up and max my storage and then waste some. So I have to make the decision now. Great, fantastic. Um, I'm I'm thinking. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that I I definitely want to use miners again until my king is maxed because it's just just the best way to get dark elixir. I want to max this king as soon as possible. Um, but I also and so what that means is that I want to finish as soon as possible because I want the the freedom to do something else and maybe spend more dark elixir in my armies. So I'm thinking we should just use the gems and finish off this inferno tower. It's only 12 hours. It's gonna be what time would that be? That'd be 3 a.m. All right. I'm not gonna stay up till 3 a.m. for this. Um, so I say we go ahead and spend the um, we go ahead and do this. And just do the do the loot spending at the beginning of the episode. You guys down for that? I think you're down for that. All right, gems, boom. And ooh, leveled up, 140, cool. All right, so Inferno Tower has now been upgraded. Let's bounce our tour into our progress base. Do I need to remove? Yeah, I'm gonna remove that trunk while we talk. All right, so now, oh, yeah, builder base. I don't play builder base on this account. Um, let's start by, I guess, doing the laboratory upgrade. Uh, I don't have a lot of loot in, I think actually I do have some loot in my tray. Just collect that. And that gets us to 8.7 million elixir. Very, very close to 9 million, which is how much we would need in order to upgrade the electro dragon. But what is what is cheap enough to afford is the baby dragons. And baby dragons are amazing. So let's go ahead and upgrade the baby dragons, guys. 11 and a half day upgrade. 8 million elixir. I've got 8.7, so we're good. Let's do this in 3, 2, 1. Bam. Very unusual starting off a video with um, upgrades. But hey, it's it's all good. So now let's look at it this way. Um, I get about two days until my next builder. As soon as I use up my fifth which means that I can go ahead and spend my gold on walls. So let's go ahead and upgrade two walls. Bam and bam. That was a lovely, lovely 8 million loot dumped into walls. Of course, that's what we did. All right, let's upgrade the uh, the king now. 182,000 gold, seven day upgrade in three, two, one, bam. And I have no books or anything, so we're just gonna have to wait it out. But now we don't have, uh, we don't have max um, storages anymore. We can actually go out and get some loot and enjoy the process. So let's use our miners. I'm gonna request for any ground and stuff and uh, we'll get our CC in between attacks. So at this point, it's gonna be the first attack will be um, miners, heal spells and queen. And then the second live raid will probably end up being miners and CC without the queen, but we'll see, we'll just see. So let's try to find a good pace, guys. I have been controlling my, my trophies a bit, so I'm not uh, just like this. I found it super, super fast. I mean, 5,200 dark elixir, half a million gold, almost very close to half a million elixir too. Let's take out this base. And I'm thinking, yeah, we got two drills on this side and one drill on the other side. So let's actually snipe this drill. I think I can do it with one miner. Nope, let's do two. Two miners should be able to handle it. And then we can spam their miners on the other side and have some fun with this. So boom, there you go. Miners did the deed. And now let's start it off. Let's get some miners on the corners and then the rest of them very nicely spread all over this base. And what we're going to do, we're going to grab this dark out of the drills and hopefully they make it all the way in 
And we managed to actually uh, get the Dark Elixir out of the storage because I believe I have this sinking suspicion that there's a little bit sitting in the storage is still and possibly even the Town Hall. So let's heal right there for the Wizard Tower. And let's heal right in the middle for... I figured there'd be Tezzles or Giant Bombs or something in the core. And yeah, everything's looking good so far. I'm a little concerned by this group of miners over here because they're dealing with the king and stuff. Let's heal that one again, actually. There we go. Good, good. Jolly good. All right. And then I guess we should heal... Man, I don't know. Let's heal the middle again. I mean, I, normally I'd like to try to continue keeping the funnel alive, but I don't know. There's no easy way to know how to heal the, the last half of the attack. I mean, you always heal your wings, basically, uh, the, the left and the right side of your funnel at the beginning, just making sure you keep, you know, heals over the splash damage and stuff. But at the back end, you kind of watch for wherever most of the miners are. That's pretty much how I do it normally. And it works out pretty well, as you can see here. This one's definitely going to be a three star. We need a queen over here to help out with this. And it's going to drive the rest of these miners in toward all these defenses and the queen will be covered because it's going to have some distraction. And uh, we're going to pop her ability and wipe out the rest of the defenses. No problemo. Watch this. Boom. Oh, and actually, that wizard tower was distracted. Queen didn't take any damage. So it looks like we're actually going to have the queen for the next uh, for the next raid. And what are you guys doing? Oh, we got 69,000 elixir left over. Ha. No, no, no. We're going to get this. And they're so fast. Those miners are so fast. It's insane. The queen was way back here. That was awesome. All right, so there you go. Full loot bonus. So that's uh, 640,000 gold, 600,000 elixir, and a beautiful 5,800 dark elixir. Not too shabby, if you ask me. Now, I feel like I had a really beast replay. Oh, I do. I do have a lot of beast replays, actually. All, over, all of them are over 4,000, pretty much, except for this one. Look at this. 68 or 76. I can't math. This base had over 8,000 dark elixir in it. This is a lot of Dark Elixir. Um, so what I did, I started off by trying to snipe this one drill kind of on the outside. It'll start off kind of as a funnel, but also just guarantees that we get at least a little bit of Dark Elixir in case things go wrong. Over 8,000 in one base, guys. So this is insanity. Um, unfortunately, we had some dragons, or we had some CC troops like a dragon, a Valkyrie, a bowler. Um, so that definitely wasn't the plan, and I didn't have a, a poison spell, so... I had to deploy my king and queen down there just to handle that. But hey, they actually ended up handling the enemy heroes too. Keeping a heal on the edges, we definitely want our miners to get into this group. We got two drills and a storage in the middle. Um, the uh, enemy king is going to be a problem too. I've already used both of my heroes' abilities, so I can't like, you know, uh, I, I, I didn't I didn't catch when I used them. I think I used the hero abilities um, on the. Um, enemy clan castle or something but anyway so now there's a very nice line of buildings cookie what were they called it like a, a trail cookie trail there you go uh a cookie a crumb trail i can't think of the there's an expression for that but either way yes there's a lot of um there's a lot of buildings that basically led the miners all into the storage and then into the town hall now unfortunately i didn't have another heal i think i only had three heals hold on how many heals did i actually have for that base I had three. Yes, so this one was an attack where I went in without all my heals. If I had all my heals, we would have definitely got all 8,000 plus Dark Elixir. Now, with the loot bonus, I did get over 8,000 Dark Elixir. So that was that was a crazy gain right there. Beautiful stuff, guys. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's, a, it's one of my favorite things in the game is farming Dark Elixir. So, I think at this point, yes, I get some CC troops. I've also got a Wall Wrecker. Yes, yes. Oh, this is going to be glorious. This is going to be... Glorious and ooh, Town Hall 12. I'm trying to decide if I want to try this base. I'm, I'm thinking I might actually because most of the Dark Elixir are super easy to get to. So let's go ahead and drop. Let's go one, two, three on this drill. I think this might be enough. I don't know. These defenses are going to make quick work of my miners. Come on, miner. Come on, come on. Okay, we need four on the other side. Just don't forget. All right, this guy should take it out. There we go. All right, so this one, one, two, three, four. I think I might have accidentally put five, but that's all right. So that should definitely get that drill no problemo. All right, and then Wall Wrecker in from the top because the top is where the majority of the Dark Elixir actually is. Let's get that queen in there and majority of our miners in from here, but I also want to trail in behind the Wall Wrecker too. So this is kind of like doubling as a funnel as well as um, the driving force into the base. So... The Wall Wrecker already exploded. That's definitely not the plan. Uh, let's heal and rage that. 
And they should get the Dark Elixir out of the storage, but I highly doubt that we're going to be able to make it all the way down to the storage down there. I'm going to heal right there because of that Wizard Tower. But if we can break this wall... Come on, bowlers, break the wall. Yes. All right, the Queen should then follow behind. But yeah, there's a lot. There's still so much between the troops and the Town Hall. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the Queen's definitely not going to be able to pull this off. She's level 50. She's a beast. But she is still vulnerable. She is. She's not immortal. She's... She's... Yeah, it's not going to work out. Get that Inferno down, girl. Come on. Okay, she didn't even get that. Bummer. Bummer. Ooh, and we didn't even win. We didn't even get a loot bonus. But still, without a loot bonus, look at that. We got all three drills and storage. The only dark we missed was in the town hall. And we got 5,000 dark elixir on top of that. Plus, more than our bare minimum. Gold and elixir. 300,000 elixir. 367,000 gold. Not bad. Not bad at all. I don't... I always avoid hitting town hall 12s. Um, so... You know, I did it. I, I did it. And that, you know, the results were a fail as I expected. So anyway, um, weird. <laughs> I'm so used to doing my upgrades, but it's over. We we already did the upgrades. We're done. We're ready to uh, end the episode, I guess. I mean, that's what I'm going to keep doing, guys. I'm going to keep throwing miners at bases, taking out as much dark elixir as possible. We got to get this king maxed out. Um, I don't even have the gem. I have I have 870 gems. I need 999 for this king. So I'm not even close to be. I can't gem the king. So maybe I will switch back to Lunian because in seven days I would probably pretty confidently max out my storage. So if I spend a little bit of dark elixir, I'll slow down that until the king actually wakes up in a week. So I don't know. The, the, yeah, the resource balancing and resource, um, you know. Resource management. That's what this game's all about. So, um, anyway, I guess let's just recap what we did. We got a, a beautiful, beautiful laboratory upgrade going. Got the king up going, king upgrade going. This warden wakes up in almost two days. Going to be level 11. Definitely going to need some elixir, by the way. Yeah, probably going to switch back over to Looney, and I'll go ahead and start cooking that right now. So, yeah, great progress, guys. And unfortunately, that is going to have to do it for me today. And thank you all so much for tuning in. Like the video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button also if you have not done so already for daily gaming videos. And also, just a real quick recap of what I've got going on. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All the links to those social media platforms are down below in the description. I've also got a public Discord server. Highly recommend that you check that out. Links in the description. Um, join my clan, a trophy push, uh, Knights of Zion. We would love to have you as long as you have more trophies than our bottom guy. We'll take you. Also, we have Patreon, where we have a lot of awesome stuff going on. Lots of awesome perks that I want to give you. All you have to do is, once again, check out the link in the description. That's all for me. I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.